Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. We're going to be looking at the price of crude oil, more specifically the West Texas contract that's traded through CMC Markets. Uh, that's based on the US futures market. Now, oil prices have pretty much been going sideways in the last couple of months um, after the, the massive declines that were witnessed in the tail end of last year and the beginning of this year. And so, really it's been US oil production that's been the uncertainty here. US production is still increasing, but we don't quite know when that's gonna end. And that's something we want to explore a bit further here. Now there's been three main data points that have been key for watching that are released each week. One has been the rig count, the Baker Hughes rig count on Friday. The other has been the uh, American Petroleum Institute report on Tuesday in terms of inventories. And then the most widely watched, which is the International Ed Energy Agency report on Wednesday. And so the general trend has been for a reduced rig count. In fact, the rig count has been cut in half since November. So that should eventually feed through to a, a slowdown in production in the US, but that really hasn't been happening. Uh, US production has been so high that it's reaching the point where we're getting to overcapacity where there is literally no more storage to hold on to this oil. And the risk there is that if storage literally does run out, then some of this extra crude being produced is gonna to have to be sold off at fire sale prices and could bring the overall price down. So what we need to consider here is when does this increase in production start to taper off? And there are starting to, uh, starting to appear some signs of that. There is still a build in inventories, but the, that build is slowing. And so that's why we're seeing this base in oil prices. And in fact, we've seen a breakout into new 2015 highs. And so we want to assess the chart a bit here and see how much further we have to go. Now here we're looking at a daily candlestick chart for crude oil, West Texas. And what you can see here is that this pattern could be described as a, as a falling wedge pattern, which has subsequently broke out. The, the breakout point was on the 6th of April, around $48. And the breakout was followed through, and we've broken through the highs that were seen around February, around $54. And so that's actually put us into new 2015 highs. But we've stalled out just above that, around this sort of 57 mark, and now what's happening is that we've, the price has fallen back to this, this prior resistance of 54, which could now be acting as, as support uh, along the lines of what was once resistance then becomes support on, a, on the retest. So, so this is our first potential layer of support before price could rebound and extend this, this uh, price breakout. But Given the uncertainty over US production and whether it in fact is in the midst of, uh, of, de of moving towards a, a decline, there is a good chance that we could slip back into this trading range and perhaps the round number of $50 might be an area again that needs to be tested before prices could push higher. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We're of course looking at oil prices. The key thing here, especially when you're looking at this US oil contract, the West Texas, is to pay attention to these weekly production figures and, and rig count numbers on Friday. Um, when the rig count is going down, but what we want to see is the, the production numbers follow suit. There are signs that that's, that's happening, but when it really does kick into gear, I think that's when we can safely say we've put a, a bottom into oil prices, but as of yet, that's not quite happened.